This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about how to free up and clean your MacBook hard drive slash storage. So let's get right into this. Um, if you're like me and you cheaped out or not even cheaped out <laughs> or Apple's too expensive on the hard drive aspect of a Mac and you you don't say you don't have the crazy memory one and you want to free up your Mac space or in general you just used up a lot it's long down your MacBook a little bit and I, I understand like the Mac is insanely powerful it's fairly optimized and it does let you run uh, other software much faster than a desktop would because of just how Apple builds their systems but let's say you still want to clear it up you want it to be faster and I'm going to show you how to basically delete unnecessary or files you don't need and you probably didn't even know you had so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the top left side and click about this Mac once we're in here we're going to click the middle which says storage we're going to give it a few minutes or seconds depending on like when's the last time you did it or what are the types of items within your Mac to like let it calculate where it's essentially posting all of these uh, memories so as you can see for me it's photos um i and this is something you may or may not even know like my phone's technically just connected directly to this mac it's under the same apple id so because of that everything from my phone is going to my mac my phone has more memory than my mac my phone has 500 gigs of storage whereas my mac has about 126 and i guess you only get 121 because the system takes some of that now as you can see like i even have 11 gigs of trash which is interesting because this is where i said you probably didn't even know you have like um items there that you need to delete and then obviously there's documents apps icloud etc 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 so let's go into manage to see what's going on and so let's get right into the like the portion so in applications this is whatever you've downloaded have installed on your computer so if there's anything in here that was pre-installed that you don't need i would highly recommend you deleting it as you can see look i have the elgato game capture card for some odd reason there twice i'm going to delete that these are the types of things you obviously do not want. Um, so yeah, once that's done, it deletes. So let's say I'm going to actually do one more thing. I remember from my uncle, I helped uh, unlock his iPhone because um, he forgot his password. So he's like, hey, can you just factory reset? I was like, sure. And I did. But now the thing is, as you can see, this is happening. It's being deleted. Some stuff will go to the trash. Some won't. But the stuff that goes to the trash, you need to remember and literally empty the trash. If you do not, the memory is just going to be sitting there and chilling there and you're going to be like what the hell i'm deleting but nothing is happening so be cautious and be cognizant of doing that and then everything else that you don't need like look i have some podcasts that i've been listening to it's all there so obviously you can you can literally just open it up uh boom boom and then delete the podcast let's say you're not listening to them and you don't want them anymore you delete the podcast as well and etc you understand my point basically from here i believe music creation is garage band and then there's music messages etc 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 so yeah, this is literally one of the ways you can go and clean up your memory. There is other in system. Um, I can make another video on how to delete. I, I think you can do other system, most likely not, because obviously that's system storage. You can't delete those. Other, I'm fairly confident you can. It might be cash. It might be like miscellaneous stuffs. I can make a video on how to do that. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I literally just cleared up a lot. I got like 20, 30 gigs back just by doing a little cleanup here and there that you probably didn't even know. The next thing you can do is you can actually... Uh, if you click recommendation, it tells you what to do. It shows you like, oh, uh, automatically clean up trash, which you should do. You can reduce clutter. You can optimize your storage. And then what you can do is store it in the iCloud. If you want to obviously get an iCloud membership or storage, you can do that. Uh, I do have it on my phone. You can obviously connect them. As you can see, I don't really have anything connected, so it's only like one gig. Um, it's a, Again, it's completely up to your preference on how you'd like to do it. But yeah, this is a way that does work. And yeah, I do hope this guy, uh, for you guys, this was helpful and informative. I am actually going to go through my applications and delete anything duplicative that's there. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to guide you and walk you through how to uh, take it a bit further, such as like deleting the other portions and yeah but let me know in the comment section below but overall if you like this video smash that like button helps a lot with that youtube algorithm if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell on that fnh out peace